Hi, it's Geldarian here. I am about to do a Navarre Coast. I think we're going to do a 1-7 one one um, plan, 1 west, 7 south, and that will be hopefully a good move for us. I'm spec sharpshooter at the moment, so I'll be bursting down healers. I'm going to try to mark them for you, show you how to do that. Um, with Navarre Coast, the, of course, the, one of the main things you want to do is be taking the turret at all times. Um, see, there's a healer. I actually have it keybound, so I'm going to mark them and try to burst them down. And that works quite nicely. Uh, there's just another healer, I think. I'm going to move in. Let's mark them with a flame. I'll just try to take a little bit. Sometimes you get interrupted, but if I'm not being directly attacked, then it's always a good thing to do. There are a lot of healers. So, you can see some people have their preferred um, healing methods or preferred uh, marking methods. I like to use crosshairs for my primary, but a lot of people like to use saber. I think that crosshairs are slightly easier to see. Uh, saber is a good one, though. Looks like most of the concentration is at the south, but it's always good to keep an eye on this area right here when you're just waiting here to see if, because people oftentimes will come down here and then just head this way when they realize that south is overrun. Um, we're not we're getting a little bit of people taking it now as you can see so we need to stop them from taking it the best way we can um, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore everything else and just take it back when it's taken I'm going to pop a orbital strike right here and a mez to keep people busy this guy's taking. I've got people on me, marauders. Love them. Keep track of them. The key to this is to quickly switch so people have no idea what you're working on. Uh, burning down healers is is important. We got one incoming west. Um, tiring the healers out is, a, is another method. When there are three of them, it seems like uh, it's going to be difficult to, to burn through them DPS-wise, so have to have to change up your strategy. And the easiest way to do that is to m attack multiple people, um, get them to change targets quite a bit, and then work on the healers behind the scenes. Still, some places you can't go into cover. Smart guy waited for me to uh, blow my aim shot. I should have false casted it, moved back, and then hit the thermal grenade instead. But I wasn't fast enough on the reflexes. Got one incoming. He's going to try to get that off. They've been holding off south pr south pretty well. We got them down 50%. That's not too bad, but it would have been nice if we had not lost south. We were too spread out, though. They were fast on the response to to east, so that's fun. So 
Just move in here. Oh, never mind. I was honestly able to stand there for way longer than I deserve to. <laughs> That's okay. Um, in Sharpshooter, the the main skills that you're given are... Uh, well, first off, your, uh, your first skill that you're given is Diversion, which is not as useful against most people. It's only useful against people who need accuracy um, or who need cover. So you're pretty much limited to assassins somewhat, um, juggernauts, sentinels, um, sentinels it's pretty, pretty good on because most of their stuff needs didn't hit my dodge fast enough. Most of their stuff needs um, accuracy to land, um, especially like combat sentinels are, are pretty much stymied by it and um, are not, yeah, um, what's it called? Watchmen. Sentinels are pretty stymied by it. But um, the accuracy only comes into play somewhat on other classes though. This guy's a warlord. Plagueis, I know him. He was on my old server. These guys are brutal. I hate it when people escape with really slow, really close health. So yeah, the um, it's pretty easy to tell who's healing. I always look for these um, type things here. You've got combat support cylinder active on them. Sometimes you can tell um, by their first couple of casts if they're healing spec. Um, some of them have very distinctive healing skills that they use. Dark Infusion is one. Oh, I should have hit speed shot first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other team is mostly Conquerors and Warlords, which is fun to fight against. Um, you know, they're in full war hero more than likely. Even I'm not quite in full war hero yet, um, I would like to be. Um, I just haven't put enough focus into one character to get it that way. Um, the, the idea though is that 
War Hero and Battle Master is like a 5% difference. Um, in reality, it makes a little bit more of a difference because you're not just looking at expertise, you're looking at the pri uh, other stats as well, and they tend to be a bigger stat. Uh, it tends to be a bigger stat bonus between them. Um, although, interestingly enough, I was looking at my Battle Master gear and the the set the set actually has less less accuracy and more crit and surge, which I actually am I actually prefer accuracy at the moment because it's a uh, I'm f I'm at the cap for crit and surge or soft cap anyway. And so I'm at 42 crit chance and um, oh, this guy will not die. Die. Come on. Desperately need energy. I really should think about taking that one tr talent that gives me the extra 5% energy these days, but I don't do that. Well, we just barely got that one. Six to 32. We must, we need to do really well. painful. Um, yeah, so the uh, couple tricks for burning down healers, I sometimes target another DPS and set them as focus target. Like this guy is now my focus target, and I can see his target by hitting control F. That's default. We're going to lose this. Oh my gosh, they triple capped us. How is that even possible? At least kill this guy, hopefully. Nope, he got healed full because of the thing. Because of the end of the match. So yeah, that went badly. But that happens. Um, you know, this is just one example of, you know, it doesn't matter how much damage you do. Uh, if you don't uh, work together as a team, you're still not going to win. And we didn't work together there that well. I think this guy stayed around quite a bit was good um, you know these guys are uh, I know Plagueis I know um, Bounty Porker Austin's pretty good he's a marksman marksmanship sniper so anyway yeah that was some Navarre Coast um, you, you get to see that you know the it's easy to get the the turrets, but you've got to watch and make sure that you keep them. Otherwise, it, it, the, it soon slips away from you, and it's just very hard to get them back. Um, overall, you know the uh, the game was lost in the teamwork and not responding fast enough to threats, and they were able to move quick and furious, and it it blew through us. And I think we may not have been geared well, well enough as a team. Although, it was still fun, so, I mean, elitism has no place, in my opinion. Uh, you just need to always remember it's a game and, and treat it as such, and these are real people on the other ends, and I'm sure they have reasons for not being geared, but, 
everyone should always be wearing recruit gear and that'll help narrow the gap and I think everyone was so it was just one of those deals but anyway yeah so y'all have fun um, you can check me out on, on Twitter at Geldarian you can uh, look at my website uh, thefanaticalswordsman.wordpress.com I write for torwars.com and their smuggler, smuggler Weekly and I write the column the PvP column Tactical Strike on Karelian Run Radio and uh, of course thank you for coming to my YouTube channel please subscribe and like and all that jazz and uh, yeah so see you in game send me a tell if you see me on Drugus Pleasure Barge thanks a lot bye